eat it now. And, and 50 years later, we still having the same conversation. We, this conversation is just stuff. There's nothing being said here today that hasn't already been said many, 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 many times. We're still saying the same stuff. We're still talking and talking and talking. No action. And then there's a need to have people at the table who understand our needs. Different people have different priorities. I understand that. White people have different priorities than black people. So we need some black police officers that can relate to black people. As the yes, brother sir. before me just said, if you have an understanding of the people you're dealing with, you can deal with them a little better. Then Davenport, we, we bought a, 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 a resolution recommendation to the Davenport uh, Council and, and for a resolution on hate crime. That was minimalized and marginalized, and there was a, a, there was a, 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 a resolution instead of an ordinance. We have to address these things at the high level and stop pushing them on the back burner. Last point is reactive versus proactive. Uh, uh, one of the uh, earlier speakers, Mr. Thrapp from Beyond the Baseline, he said he went and picked up trash after the shooting. My question to him is how many times have you picked up trash since the incident and how many times did you pick up trash out there before the incident and try to create some kind of relationship and start addressing these things before they happen. We can't wait till stuff happens. We have to be more react. We have to be uh, uh, empathetic versus sympathetic. 